In this topic, we will talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Before we start solving the problems, you must remember what is complementary and what is supplementary. Now, there are many ways to remember this. The method which I use is very simple. Complement means something that is right. You get compliments when you're right. So right angle is 90 degrees. So that's how I always remember complement means right and right angle is 90 degree. Whereas supplement means adding something. So now 90 plus 90 would be 180. So supplementary is more. Supplementing yourself with something, you're giving yourself something extra. So this is how I remember complementary is 90, supplementary is adding more, so it must be bigger. It's 180 degree. You can remember any way, whichever helps you to remember this. Now let's solve a couple of problems over here. Find the measure of two supplementary angles. Now, first of all, supplementary means if two angles are supplementary, I'll take it as X and Y. If I add them together, X and Y, that will be equal to 180. Supplement means bigger, 180. Now, they're also told if the difference between the measure of two angles is 35. The difference means you subtract X minus Y equals 35. They have told difference between these two is 35. Now, there is many methods to solve. See, one of the method is take the y to the other side, substitute instead of x, 35 plus y, and solve it algebraically. But over here, I'll tell you the easiest method, which you can easily solve. These are two simultaneous equations. We have solved these equations before. So all you need to do is press more, go to phi and 1. Now, before x, it's 1. Before y, it's 1. And lastly, we have got 180. Same thing over here, 1, minus 1, and 35. 35 over here. So, what do we get? Sorry. Over here, that's, sorry, 35, it's, okay. The answers are 107.5 and 72.5. So, one of the angle is uh, 107.5, one more angle is 72.5. So this, these are your answers. Now, this is about supplementary. I'll quickly do one more for complementary over here. But they have mentioned the angle. It's E and F. So let me just do E plus F is equal to their complementary. Complementary means right. Right angle is 90 degree. So when you add them, you must get 90. Then they have also told the measure of E is 54 more than the measure of F. That means, wh what is E? E is equal to 54 more than F. 54 plus F or F plus 54. But we have to write E and F together. So let me take this F to the other side. So it will be E minus F equals 54. I hope this is clear. They have given you a statement stating E angle E is 54 degrees more than the measure of F. So, E will be bigger. F plus 54 will be the answer of E. Now, all you do is again, put it in the calculator. It's 1, 1. The coefficients are 1, 1, and 90 over here. And 1 minus 1. And lastly, we have 54 over here. And the answer is 72. So, E is 72. And Y is, uh, the F angle is 18. See? F is 18, E is 72, that is what we got. But over here we got the first angle, 72, because we took E as the first one. So measure of E is 72, F is 18. Similarly, you can solve all the others and please check your answers. If you are getting confused with this method, the calculator method, please go to the previous videos. We have solved simultaneous equations. That is how we uh, solve it. Because this is one of the easiest doing simultaneous and you can easily get the answers. There is one more problem in this. It is kind of a real world problem. Now over here they have told a bascule bridge shown in the shown is opening from the horizontal position. So this bridge was like this horizontal. Now it's opened up. You can see it's opened up to an angle of 35 degrees. Okay. Now they're asking uh, it, it is in 21 seconds it opened up 21 uh, 35 degrees 
Now at the same rate, how much longer will it take to reach its vertical position? So it's opening up and eventually it will be upright, see vertically. So it will be 90 degrees, right? So now already 35 degrees is done. So this is a complementary angle. You can see this is 90 degrees. So how much angle is remaining over here to go up? So it is 90 minus 35. So I'll just repeat it. So the bridge will open up until vertical position, that is 90 degree. But as of now, it is already done by 35 degrees. So we have, we have been told for 35 degrees, it took 21 seconds. How much more time to go vertical position? Before we find the time, we need to find the angle that is remaining to move up. So 35 degrees is done from 90. So you will have uh, 50, 55 degrees more to go. So the angle will be 55 more degrees. So now if you do, you know, say uh, cross multiplication of the quantities, you will find it. So now we can just uh, understand for 35 seconds. So for, sorry, for 35 degrees, it took 21 seconds. So how much seconds will it take for 55 degrees? This will be x. Okay. Now we will just cross multiply and find it. Take x to the other side. It will be x equals 21 into 55 divided by 35. So you can put this in the calculator and get it. So just remember you cross multiply. So this goes up and this comes down. So it is 21 multiplied by 55 divided by 35. So all you do is just put this in the calculator. Now you will have 21 multiplied by 55 divided by 35. It's about 33 seconds. Yes, it makes sense. So, you know, the answer is 33 seconds. For 35 degrees, it took 21. So we have 20 more degrees. It's around 30, 33 seconds more to go. So there are many ways to solve. This is one of the method to solve. But the main concept is over here. This bridge opens up to be 90 degrees. So it is complementary angle and now 35 degrees is already done so the remaining is 55 degrees just uh, make a relation and cross multiply for 35 degrees it took 21 seconds so how much will it take for 55 degrees that is unknown just cross multiply you'll get the answer